The following program was recorded at ARC Advisory Group's annual World Industry Forum in Orlando, Florida. I'm pleased to welcome Editor-in-Chief of Supply Chain Brain, Russell Goodman. Joining us for a conversation on how Pepperell & Fuchs is positioning itself for the future is Jim Bowen, Chief Operating Officer at the company. Welcome, Jim. Thank you, Russ. Jim, for those viewers that might not be familiar with Pepperell & Fuchs, what is it? What does it do? Pepperell & Fuchs is a German headquarter automation company that covers uh, segments in the factory automation market, and so what we consider the digital market, and the process automation market, which is the uh, oil and gas and energy type markets. Now, during the recent recession, many automation suppliers took that opportunity to restructure themselves. I imagine that uh, Pepperell and Fuchs is no different. Is there a particular, or was there a particular initiative there that you can tell us about that you feel is something that will uh, position the company for the future, something that a uh, value proposition that might make it uh, a more interesting uh, company for its customers? Yes. the. Um First of all, let me start to say the recession was a little bit painful and deep for all companies, and, and Pepperell and Fuchs no different. But Pepperell and Fuchs is structured at, with two divisions, the process automation division, which deals in the energy side of things, and the factory automation side, which is the digital market. And what we found through the recession is that those two divisions are offset by approximately nine months. Uh, in sort of their economic cycle. So for Pepperell Fuchs, though painful, the recession, we didn't feel the full force of the recession for, you know, the full duration. Somewhere around uh, six months, both divisions were down, but factory led and then process lagged. So it was very important to us that, uh, that we kept a very strong and steady um, cash flow even during the, the middle of the recession. That being said, we took a look at our processes as we were in the, in the heart of the recession and made some, uh, some interesting adjustments. First is that on a management board level, we did a little reorganization and a realignment. With the two divisions, with the realignment, the CEO of the company, Dr. Cagle, took responsibility of sales for both divisions. What that does is give us an opportunity to align backroom uh, office support, mm -hmm. bring synergies to the organization. Forward-looking, the customer sees two divisions. The salesmen don't change, but the backroom support process services all get a chance to pick up some synergies. We also aligned all our technologies under the group COO, Dr. Adolfs. And what we have is levels of our core competence teams, and they all now report up to Dr. Adolfs. So again, we can harvest synergies, best practices. It's a good, uh, a good alignment that will bring uh, um, future benefits to the PNF group. Second thing that we did during the recession that was very interesting for us is that we continued to make the critical investments we needed to grow out of the recession. So we continued to purchase new machinery to increase capacity. We brought on a new facility in uh, Vietnam, a new production facility in Vietnam, and fully staffed and got that up and operating in the heart of the recession in the third quarter of 2009. So those are some of the commitments that we made to our, grow our business coming out of the recession. The recession we did learn exposed a few flaws in our, our material planning, our inventory control processes, some of our supply chain processes. Those we have initiatives to look forward and address. I know that in addition to looking at your processes, and in addition to making uh, investments, you're continuing to innovate at the company. Walk us through what kind of innovations are going on there at Pepperell and Fuchs and what you're doing at the company to enhance your R&D budget. So from a um, R&D and innovation, Pepperell Fuchs brand is recognized as a innovative technology centric brand. And that's, that's just part of our DNA. So what we're doing is continuing that process going forward. So at the, at the recession level, mm -hmm. 
At the heart of recession, we continued to fully fund our R&D efforts. In 2010, R&D represented 10% of our revenue were invested back in R&D. We took the, those dollars and continue in investing into technologies such as the wireless technologies that, uh, that we've been known for, like RFID, Heart Wireless, those types of technologies. We are uh, innovative in technologies such as uh, vision, um, monitoring technologies used in factory assembly floors, and we used it, are uh, using those R&D um, dollars for the DART IS technology that's being introduced here at the AM ARC Forum mm -hmm. uh, in 2011. So how has your company adjusted its value proposition in order to provide the kind of solutions that give the ROI that your customers are requiring from you? Throughout our, our history, Pepro Fuchs has been known as a hardware component supplier. Mm. We make components that people integrate into their machines, into their plants, and provide the value that, that we bring with our products. What we have started doing the last couple of years was to take and package those solutions up to bring, uh, or package that equipment up to bring solutions to our customers. Mm -hmm. That became uh, very successful, and we created an entire business unit around that called uh, Systems and Solutions, where we come up with customized packages for our customers to provide them solutions. During the recession, the one part of our business that saw no drop off in revenue continue to increase year after year was our package solutions business because we bring extra value, we fit the customer's need um, because he's looking to reduce vendor bases to single source to look to customers to provide the answers and not just pieces of the answers. Jim, final question for you then. What are the plans that uh, the company has going forward for the future? Our, for the last 60 years, Pepro Fuchs has been supplying components and solutions to our, our um, customer base, and we've been doing that with two divisions, the factory automation and the process automation. We have found that that is the absolute perfect model for us. It allows our salesmen to focus on a community that they are selling products to. We become experts on their needs, and then we bring that back in and develop products and and uh, solutions that allow them to um, solve those needs and be successful. So moving forward, we're gonna keep with the two division approach and we're gonna continue the strong investments in our R&D um, DNA. Well, Jim, it's uh, been uh, valuable information. Wish you the best of luck going forward and thank you for meeting with us today. Thank you, Russell. This is Jim Bowen, Pepperell and Fuchs, speaking with us today about how the company is positioning itself for the future. Thank you for watching.